It is a huge honor to be in Tokyo, Nippon, which Americans call Japan, um, in the doctor's office of Dr. Shina Minami. How do you say it? Shinya. Here. Shinya Minami. Thank you very much for letting us in your dental office. And he went to school in Showa University, Department of Dentistry in Tokyo, Nippon in 2004. And he was telling me that dental school is six years long. And he was the only one in his class that married a girl in his class. <laughs> right on, congratulations. And after dental school, she went on an additional um, seven years um, to become an orthodontist, seven more years after dental school. So dental school is six years, and then they do a one-year residency. So his wife went to dental school six years and then did seven more years to become an orthodontist. Wow. And they have a um, beautiful office. Most of Asia, dental offices, one dentist, one operatory, one staff member. But in Japan, um, they have bigger offices. Like this is four operatories. And he works in here with his wife, who's an orthodontist. That's right. So um, what, what would you like to tell, what would you like to, uh, what are you passionate about in dentistry? So, <laughs> His passion for the uh, he does not want to damage the teeth, so he is a pro. Uh, how, how do you say? How do you say? He is interested in minimal intervention. Intervention. Am I? Minimal intervention. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yes, minimally invasive dentistry. Uh, that's right. Minimal minimally invasive dentistry. Minimal invasive dentistry. So, what is what is his practice like? Is it mostly children, adults? Is it um, fillings, crowns, root canals? Is you know what 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 does what do you like to do mostly? Oh, uh, that's mm -hmm. 主に、えっと、衛生士の業務が多いですね。Mainly the dental hygienist in his clinic, they do their work, and he does not do many crowns or like root canal. Many people come here to maintenance. So. So you mostly, you're in the here, it's mostly hygienists doing cleanings and your wife doing orthodontics. And then, and so you like to prevent disease. So what do you, what do you mostly do yourself? If, if the hygienists are cleaning teeth, your wife's doing orthodontics, what do you like to do? Of course, the if the patient come for the first time, he will check and do something the patient needed. Like if he has a you know, caries, he will uh, make it treat. He will treat. But mainly, he is managing the staffs, and he is his main work is to manage the dental office, not for not to directly doing the work practice. So you're uh, more a businessman than a dentist, would you say? More a businessman than a dentist. Mm -hmm. それは違いますね。近いしで、えっと、たくさんの 
患者さんに喜んでもらいたいと思っててでそれをお手伝いしてくれる人が今うちの院にはいるかなと。No, he's not a businessman. He is more of a dentist. But there are many staffs in his office to help him. Oh, do, does he have other dentists working for him? Oh, yeah, he. There, there are. There are three dentists. Oh, okay. Instead of, yeah. So he's managing the three dentists. That's right. And how many hygienists? Four. Four hygienists, three dentists, and one orthodontist.、Uh-huh. Are there any other specialties? And there are dental assistant and receptionist. Three. Three dental assistant. So, does, does、um, the three dentists that work for do any of those do root canals, endodontics, or extractions, or what, what procedures do they like to do? Of course, they do. They do? They do. Extraction, root canal treatment, root canal filling. And in his definition, management meaning、um, educating the doctors, the young doctors, to make them professional. It's his main work.、Yeah. Um, the fees, like in America, for a root canal is a thousand dollars US. <laughs> and the fees for a root canal in Japan are like. A hundred dollars. How do you, how can you afford to do a root canal for only a hundred dollars?、Um, you know, the, does, does the, do the fees the、um, Japanese insurance company pay? Can you really afford to do root canals? うちの委員では、えー、とオーソドンティクスが強制がメインで収益になっていてで、まあ、治療の部分でいうとそんなに利益が出てないかなという感じですかね。<笑> For his clinic, the main、um, earning comes from o s o d o n t i c s And that's because the government doesn't set the price of ortho. Right? You can raise the price that, of ortho,、right. but you can't raise the price of a root canal. That's right. It's because of the insurance, right? Because of insurance? Yep. Yeah. So, do any of the dentists in Japan ever just stop taking the insurance so that they could raise the price of a root canal from $100 to $200 or $1,000? So, what do you think about it? Of course, they can,、um, the patients can get the, the root canal without insurance, but many people think. Uh, if they can use the insurance, they want to use insurance. Yeah. They don't care about,、uh, they don't really care how the、um, quality of the root canal they can understand. <laughs> they think that even if they pay more money, the quality is the same. They think with the insurance, the practice with the insurance, Practice without insurance. They think it's the same.、Mm-hmm. Do, 
do any of the dental offices not take insurance or do they all take insurance? Of course there is clinics that do not cover the insurance. There are clinics that do not take insurance? There, there are. are, yeah. Do they do they have higher fees? Yeah. Do, I know. Do they make more money? Yeah. Compared with the clinics covered with insurance, the clinics without insurance do not have many patients, a few patients for one day. So, compared uh, so compared in um, I mean earning, it doesn't. It almost same. So how many patients a day does the average Japanese dentist see a day? How many? What 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 are your what are your hours? Six. no nine a.m. to. 7 p.m. The, the hours are what? From what time? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. to 7 p.m. and how, one and a half how, hour break. And how many days how many days a week are those hours? <laughs> Monday through Monday through Saturday. Friday? Monday through Saturday? So it's Monday through Saturday? And Tuesday and Sunday is holiday. Okay, Monday. Okay, uh, closed Tuesday and Sunday. And Sunday. And national holiday. And so the hour so there you're open uh Monday. And how many patients do you see a day on those? Uh, how many does does each dentist see per day? Not not the whole office, but how many patients does a dentist see? How long are the average appointments? When you see a patient, how long? Yeah. Ten, 10 patients for each doctor 10 patients a day okay so so how long and how long uh, are those appointments about hour 60 minutes about so so you see 10 patients a day for one hour each about about depending on procedures and what um what procedures would you do in that one hour everything we cannot extraction we cannot filling so that could be in um anything and then when the hygienist see a patient how long do they see a patient how long are the hygienist appointments Five patients a day, and how long are their appointments? Sixty minutes, one so, hour. or one hour too. One hour appointments too. And when you, um, when a patient has a cavity, do you feel it? What do you feel it with glass ionomer or composite resin? Composite resin. We will use composite resin. Composite resin. Um, because this is where Fuji was invented. Fuji uh, GC. 
Oh, glass Onimer, uh-huh. Fuji, um, Keytac. So are glass or GC products very popular in Japan because that's where they um, invented that? So is, is glass ionomer very popular because this is where GC was uh, started or not really? For the filling, he thinks it's not that popular. So resins are more popular? Resin more popular. Yeah, composite resin is more popular. And what brand? Who who makes them? Curare. 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 And they make um. Do they make Panavia Twenty One too? Curare. Panavia Twenty One. Nice. Yeah. Are you talking about? Yeah. This, this cement. Yeah. Cement. Cement. Yeah. Cement. No. 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 あ、多分、あ、これ。これの話だと思う。これじゃないでしょ。This made by GC or Karari? GC. GC. Nice. I really like this. <laughs> this is very nice. This is this is for the um, patient examination. Mm-hmm. Japanese doctor has to do. Uh, Japanese doctor. Japanese doctor has to explain what they are doing to the patients. So when they explain, they will use such instruments because mm-hmm. they can understand like a uh, dental jargons. If the dentist explain what he did, what they did, so they will show the pictures to make them more understand clearly. And um, do dental offices in Japan like do you um, advertise to get new patients? He doesn't advertise much. He has a you know, home page for his clinic. Home page, a web page. A web page. Yeah. Web page. Here's a web page of his clinic. Then the patient see the web page. Then they will come. So he doesn't mail um, like a flyer to their home. He doesn't. Does he have um, a Facebook page? Facebook. He doesn't use Facebook page. Do is Facebook very common for dentists in Japan? Facebook was uh, to communicate uh, with dentists, other dentists, is very famous, but not for the advertisement. Not for advertisement. For the patients. Mm-hmm. So the dentists talk to each other on Facebook. That's right. But not really talking to the patient. Not not advertising. That's right. Very few. Yeah. Do you guys like any other social media like Twitter or Instagram or Pinterest or LinkedIn? Do you know Line? What? L I N E? Line. Oh, is that another one? Yeah, it's in only in Asia, maybe. It's only what? In Asia. Oh, it's Asia. What's it called? L I N E line. L I E L I N E line. L I N E line. Yeah, line. It's a communication oh, wow. tool. Line. It's like chat tool. A ch- chat tool. And you, you is that for you to talk to dentists or are you to talk to patients? Patients. Patients. Line. Huh. And it's common in Asia. Or, or mostly Japan? Maybe only in Japan. Lines only in Japan? Uh, the For the dentistry, maybe. Many Asia, people in Asia use line. But for advertising, maybe Japanese dentists, only Japanese dentists use line to communicate with patients. 
So he's in, not sure. So introduce yourself. Who who are you? You're his friend. You're um. What what do you do? Tell him about yourself. Um, I mean, I'm currently translator. But you're a translator <laughs> for for the mostly I'm a in, um, recruiting agent. I'm helping the dentist to recruit. Um, dental hygienist, dental technician, dental assistant, and of course doctors. And I'm working for that company for two years. And I and Dr. Minami met maybe last year. I was working for his clinic for about... About six months. To help him manage the doctors and uh, dental clinics management. So do you do you like man? So you but you guys both like management. Yes, he. Doctor Minami asks me what he wants me to do, and I will check what I can do, and then if I can do what he wants me to do, I will help you. So he manages, and he tell me what he wants me to do, then I will do that job. So you have one office now. Do you think you'll ever go to two offices? Do you think you'll ever set up a second or a third office? Yes. Yes. So um, that sounds very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so do you do you like managing offices? Yes. Yes. I like education. She's more passion for educating doctors and educating dental staffs in his clinic. So what what else are you passionate about? What what else do you? Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? He wants to educate more more doctors and make them uh, help them to become a good dentist. And his dream is to educate more, more, more dentists to help them to become a good doctors, good dentist. I mean, that is fantastic. And that if the more dentists become a good dentist. More professional, the patients will benefit because patients can go to the good dentist to consult or to um, to go to the dental clinic with you know, with good doctors, professional doctors. And when you're looking at the hundred thousand dentists in Japan. Where where do they need more work to become more professional? Is it root canals? Is it fillings? Is it orthodontics? Which which area do would you like to see them improve more on? Which area needs improvement the most? All, all. Everything. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dentistry is very hard, isn't it? It's it's hard to learn it all. <laughs> uh, for him, it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. He thinks it's more... Easy. It's more easy to study. Does um, how's the state of um dental implants? Uh, do you do you guys do place dental implants in this office? Implant, yes. 
Yes. Um, does the insurance company set the fee for an implant or can you charge more fee like orthodontics? Can you charge whatever you want or does the government tell you what you have to charge for an implant? They can charge more. The government so doesn't say anything about so for the implant. Wouldn't that make implants more popular because um say opposed does the government set the fee for a three unit bridge so the government sets the fee for a bridge right. but not an implant uh -huh. so wouldn't that make a lot of japanese dentists want to place an implant for a better fee and a better profit margin than a government mandated low fee for a three unit bridge それともそんなことないのかそのブリーチとかだと保険ないだと思うんですけどインプラントはま治療の一部ではあるけれどもあの利益を上げるためのものだとは考えてないのでと言うんではいフェアスキはないですあ、he thinks the implant is only a part of the procedure and he doesn't think implant as a uh, lucrative uh, procedure he doesn't think it makes more money. He thinks what is needed for the patient. So he doesn't really think to make more implant, to do more implants in his clinic. Does, if, if someone was missing um, a molar a mm -hmm. um, hundred times, would, would he, well, if a hundred people were missing a molar, uh -huh. what percent of the time would he place an implant and what percent of time would they do a three unit bridge? If 100 people were in the hospital, if 100 people were in the hospital, if 100 he will explain all choices. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. Bridge. It's for the bridge. It's a temporary. Okay. So what percent? Okay, that's a removable bridge. And then that's an implant. Implant. And then... Okay, so... So he showed um, a removable bridge, and then he showed an implant. Does he also do a fixed bridge where he puts a crown on this tooth, a crown on this tooth, and a three unit tooth? So between those three treatments, what percent would be the removable bridge versus the implant crown versus a three unit fixed bridge? In his clinic? Yeah. Maybe 20%? Will choice I uh, will choose implant. Okay, twenty percent. Yeah, twenty percent and forty percent. Forty. Forty. Yeah, forty with the three uh, bridge. Yeah, three right. bridge. Yeah, 40. and that one, uh, the removable crown. Forty percent. Forty percent. Yeah. Now that's that's an interesting uh, thing. Um, in America, that's called uh, a spider. Because because it's got four legs, <laughs> and it's not very popular. And I always thought it should be popular because it would it's more low cost. Uh -huh. Why it's not so popular in U.S.? Because uh, America um, has one million lawyers, attorneys, mm -hmm. and they're very so rich. Happy. And they. If a patient swallowed that, uh -huh. the dentist feared it would be oh. a lawsuit. Ah! Have you ever have you ever had a patient swallow this? Yeah. Never. Never. <laughs> Is it common in U.S. to swallow it? Yeah. No, but it's very common in the U.S. to fear more about the lawyer uh -huh. than it is what the patient needs. Like you might not think you need an X-ray. But you would take an x-ray because in case you got sued, you'd want to be able to show the x-ray.
Oh. Um, it's very interesting. You would, you would um, want to do this for someone who wanted to save money, oh. but you would be afraid that if he swallowed it, you'd be sued. So Americans oh. do a lot of things. Are there a lot of lawyers in Japan? Recently, the number of lawyers increasing, he thinks, and they are searching their job. Then they come into the uh, dental industry. So he thinks the number of lawyers is increasing in dental industry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> huh. So on on this spider, would you would you take an impression and send that to a lab or would you make that back here in your own lab? He's outsourcing, yeah. He outsourced it to yeah. a lab. Yeah. And um so what about a root canal? What what is your root canal technique? What how, how do you use the average Japanese dentist do a root canal? Is it lateral condensation, vertical condensation? Is it gotta perch on a single cone? Is it Mm -hmm. They use both vertical and lateral. Vertical and lateral. Mm -hmm. So, is there any anything else um, you wanted to talk about? Is there anything else you're passionate about or wanted to share with uh, me today? Or? Ano, kore we want to increase the number of people who are no he want to increase the number of dentists who can educate another dentist do you lecture to dentists do you does he set up seminars to lecture to dentists to educate them he only takes place and lecture in his clinic or in his friend's clinic so your wife is an orthodontist um, does she do mostly fixed braces or does she do match, match removable clear aligners like Invisalign? She will fix here. Um, does she do Invisalign at all or is it all fixed? Very few. Very few. And does she do mostly lingual braces or buckle braces? Are the braces on the labial or the braces on the lingual labial labial yeah. labial yeah. and does what percent of the time if she does a hundred cases mm -hmm. what percent of the time does she pull um, teeth to do the braces extractions seven or uh, seventy seventy percent uh, yes would do would get extractions yeah does she like orthodontics does your wife like doing orthodontics yes 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 she loves it. She loves it? That's great. It's nice to have a happy wife. <laughs> you don't want an unhappy wife. Uh, she, do you know this? Yeah, cleft palate. She wants to do more braces with this one. She wants to she wants to treat more cleft palates. Yeah, yes. Wow. That she she's interested in cleft palates. She is Wow. Mm. Are, are cleft palates very common in Japan? It's not that common. It's not that common. Not common. She just she just wants to learn very few. Mm. But she's interested in learning more about cleft palates. That's right. That's fantastic. Mm. That, that is that is amazing. <laughs> Any um anything else you want to talk about? Thank uh, I'm so thankful that you let me into your office, arrange a translator. I'm I'm just very honored that you came on. And uh, is there anything else you wanted to say to anyone, or? He's also thankful for you. Mm. For coming. 
I um, I just want to say that I love Japan. <laughs> um, it is so clean. It is so organized. It is so safe. It is so high quality. The people are so friendly and helpful. It really is arguably one of the nicest places in, in the entire world. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever seen a city just this this clean and organized and happy and productive. And I mean, it's just it's just like a perfect society. <laughs> it really is. It is really a perfect society. So thank you very much for inviting me on into your home, into your dental office. You guys are amazing. Ryan, thank you so much.